The Elders Project came about because a group of children that I was teaching at the time wanted to find out about history and they decided that the best way to find out about history was to talk to old people as they called them. So for the next 15 weeks or so uh, we went across to visit a group of elders as they are known at the day centre over the road from the school and each week a group of children spent time with the same elder just chatting and getting to know each other. I enjoyed like the experience how they taught us all these like stories about themselves and how the how they've been going through their lives. Giving their stories and giving them to us so we can put it into our project and not. So we couldn't get it from young people because they wouldn't know much than elderly, like because they wouldn't have more experience than them because their lives have been like going on and on since like from, from like years ago. Yeah, I've got a lovely group in mind. They're all good kids, respected me, and uh, I loved them all. They helped me, and they, well, we helped each other, didn't we? And uh, I loved it. In fact, every time it was my turn, I didn't want to go home. <laughs> the idea was for each group of children to select a story that they'd heard their elder tell and turn that story into a digital story. And uh, in that house, there was 18 people living in. 18? 18, yeah. We're sleeping six children in one double bed. Uh -huh. This is the story about Wally and his adventures in the war. Wally was working in a missile factory in Woomera. He was there during World War II. While he was a cook and a butcher in the army, part of his job was to electrocute pigs. He also used to cut the throats of cows, but he didn't like it that much. I often pity a cow. I don't usually get to see many old people, but it helped me, like, get more used to it, like seeing old people and talking to them. Really, well, uh, see, I'm not, uh, I don't go out very much, and I don't have much to do with young children anymore. My young ch child, he's 53, uh, to experience what is going on in the schools of today, I don't know, uh, because I'm not, I'm not connected. So when I met all you young people who came, who came from the school, I was absolutely delighted. I sent me away with something warm and friendly, and the children of today aren't so bad after all. <laughs> I, I was very, very pleased.